Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to solve an absolute value equation that's written uh, as function notation, with function notation, okay, because sometimes it throws people off a little bit. Basically what they do with function notation is they, they break it up into two parts, okay. When they say let the uh, f of x, or the function of x, equals the absolute value of 2x plus 4, and they want you to find all the inputs for which the f of x is equal to 10. So look at it this way. If f of x equals this, and f of x equals this, that means that this second part and this second part are also equal to one another. So let's rewrite it using that. And you get the absolute value of 2x plus 4 is equal to 10. And at this point it's really easy, isn't it? You isolate the absolute value, and in this case it's already isolated, right? Remember to always do that. Isolate the absolute value. And what that means is that there's nothing on the outside or underneath the absolute value itself. And then the second thing is to make sure that it's equal to something positive. Huh? So the isolated absolute value I'll just start abbreviating, equals a positive number. Because remember, it can't be a negative. We're just talking about the distance from zero. So let's go ahead and solve this. I'll make the positive and negative case. So I'll say 2x plus 4 is equal to the positive 10, or... 2x plus 4 is equal to the negative case, or the negative 10. And let's solve those again individually and see what we get. So I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides and divide by 2. So I get x is equal to 3. Let's do the same thing over here. I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides and divide by 2. And I get x is equal to negative 7. So let's just test those and see if they work. So quick check. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 plus 4 is 10. The absolute value of 10 is 10. So this one works. Negative 2 times negative 7 is negative 14. Plus 4 is a negative 10. But the absolute value of negative 10 is still 10. So this one works as well. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. Again, remember that when they usually break it up into function notation, if f of x is equal to this part, f of x is equal to this part, that means that the two second parts are just basically equal to one another, and then you just solve it normally from there. Okay, I hope that was helpful.